Scale in Context World History promotes understanding of 5,000 years of world history by taking learners from the ancient world to today's headlines. Its collection of rare primary sources, reliable reference and multimedia content help put history into context for students. When you search Gale in Context World History, you will come to this homepage. Here you can see the topic of, topics of interest area of the website. These featured topics give a snapshot of interesting articles with links to more information. Below this are links to a selection of other areas of interest and topic pages. Here you can click to view individual topic pages or to browse all topic pages here. If we click on a topic page, such as Sparta for example, all the different media types listed here, which you can scroll down to view. You can also search for topics using the search box. Here you can type in your search query and press search. As you start typing, suggested searches will appear. Those in bold indicate there is a specific topic page covering that search, which you can click on to be taken directly to. As well as making a simple search, there is also an advanced search option, which allows you to construct more complex searches. Let's say you want to search the database for information on the Second World War. In this box up here, we can enter our first search term of World War II. From this drop down box here, you can choose which fields you wish your search term to appear. And from this drop down box, you can select different Boolean operators. To make our search more specific, we may want to search for World War II, but specifically in relation to the Holocaust. So to do this, we can enter Holocaust as our second search term. Once you've entered your search term, you have the choice to search now and generate your results. However, below, there are more search criteria you can use to make your search more specific. Here, you can refine by product type and resource type, as well as by publication date. There's also the option to refine by document type and content type, and refining by content level and lexile measure is a great way for students to make sure they're viewing the most appropriate sources for their level of learning. Once you've entered your advanced search criteria, you can hit search. At the top here, all of our search criteria is shown, and to the right, we have the option to enter more search criteria if we wish to do so. As we scroll down, we can see all the sources our search has generated and what sort of content type they are. Here we have everything from reference, academic journals, biography, websites, magazines and news. These bracketed numbers indicate how many sources have been generated in relation to that content category. As we scroll through, we can see each resource has its publication details here, along with its publication date, length, resource type and content level. On the right hand side of the screen are also suggested topics. As you can see, World War II has its own topic page. To view a resource, such as this one, we simply click into it. At the top of the page, we again have all the publication information displayed. And we can simply scroll through to read the article. Down the right hand side of the screen are links to related articles and subjects, as well as the article content. Here, we can click to translate the article into a range of languages from the drop-down box. We can click here to make the font size smaller and here to make it larger. By clicking on the speaker, you can have the article read aloud. You can skip ahead using the seek bar, adjust the volume here and download it as an mp3 file here. To hear only a portion of the text read aloud, use your mouse to highlight the part of the text you wish to hear before pressing listen. Along here at the top, you also have the option to share the article to Google Drive and to OneDrive. You can also email the article to yourself and others, which is a great tool for group work and for teachers to share resources with students. This icon at the end also allows students to download the article as a PDF. As you read through the article, you will notice that certain terms are highlighted in blue. These are words and terms that are linked to related topic pages and articles. If you click on the term, 
a list of these pages will appear, which you can click through to view. As you read, you can also highlight portions of the text and then add notes. To view all your highlights and notes, you can set the highlights and notes button up here and they will all appear. At the end of the article, there's also source information and citation information, which students can copy or export in a range of formats. Below is also listed more related articles. Citation information can also be found up here, which can again be copied and exported in a range of formats. Here, we will again have the option to send the article to Google Drive, OneDrive and by email. They can also download it, print it or get a link to the page. As well as using the advanced search, Gale in Context offers two other search functions. These include a publication search, through which students can search specific publications to find relevant content, as well as the topic finder. The topic finder is a great tool for students to use in constructing more nuanced research topics. On the topic finder page, we can again enter our search term. So here we'll enter World War II. The topic finder works by finding related terms that are commonly searched in relation to our search terms. This can be a helpful starting point in the early stages of research and can help students to uncover hidden connections between different topics. Once we've entered our search term, this tile diagram will appear. Depending on what you prefer, you can also click to view it as a wheel. The presentation of results in this way makes it a great visual tool. The diagram displays the words and subjects found most often in relation to our search term, with the size of the tile representing how frequently the term is mentioned in relation to our search term. If we want to find out more about a topic displayed by the topic finder, for example, bombs, we can click on the tile and the relevant publications are displayed on the right, which we can click on to view. Note that this tile has also been broken down into subtopics, which we can again click through to discover further areas of research. This is a great visual tool to help students discover the context of their search term or to uncover detailed hidden connections. The diagram is also a great way to find additional search terms that are related to their search topic. I hope this video has been useful in showing the different ways students can search Gale in Context World History. Make sure you watch our videos covering the other Gale in Context databases which are linked below. To search Gale in Context World History for yourself, request a free 14-day trial from JCS Online Resources.